How's it going guys? I'm your host Karban Gaming. Welcome back to another Dragon Faber video and it is a bright bright Wednesday morning so we finally have the release cutscene for 50% of the war and as you guys can see I did do a few waves don't ask me why I stopped at that number I mean uh <laughs> Anyways, let's go check out the cutscene. So before that, they, there was a placeholder cutscene asking us to wait patiently because we were progressing through the war really fast. And I have to admit, we are really progressing through the war really fast because it's 74% already and it's been less than a week. Usually, I don't think wars even last that long on average. So a uh, really good job to the DF warmongering community. We may see a freaking... Um, 300% war like the previous Malera's one, who knows, but uh, finally let us jump right into the cutscene to take a look at what has happened. Wow, that's cool, Yuenta. Let's keep moving before more show up. How are you holding up, Yuenta? I'm fine, I've been through much worse in all my years, but it does pain me to see darkness used against the makers in such a way. This is the kind of darkness that I've had to deal with my whole career. Okay, so some backstory first for those of you guys who are not aware. Darkness is actually not bad uh, from where Yuenta came from but um, as with all like it's very stereotypical that darkness is bad and that is the case for our world or our hero's world so yep it's been filled with doom and destruction for the most part so much wasted power and potential and what will you such and what will you use such power for a champion of the avatars oh and there he is was she always right there? I didn't see her either. Peace. What should we do? I'm all for attacking her, but if you want to talk, well, it's worked before. Thank you for your trust, Yuenta. If she makes any wrong moves, I'll blast her. We can hear you, you know. We? Who is we? Is she referring to the Maleras? Is she referring to a accomplice? Or somebody else? I apologize for whispering, uh, Angel of Azavea, but we have come to retrieve the artifact that you stole. Please call us Voina and please answer our question you and her. We call this a waste but what will you use this power for? Hold up, we are the ones asking. No, you intruded on our resting grounds and interrupted our meditation. We would like to know what drives you, then we answer you. It's okay. Voina, I wish to know how I will use this immense power of darkness. I will wield it to protect those that could not protect themselves and to shake down those who dare oppose the decree of the makers. Then we are more alike than you think, you and her. No, you stole from the makers and you use this darkness against their will. This darkness, this doom, is but a tool. We use it to protect those that cannot defend themselves. We defend this continent from the Scourge, the betrayer of the dragons. And yet you claim moral superiority because the avatars tell you that your actions are correct. May I strike this Malerus yet? So full of righteous fury, we know that feeling well. You and her, calm down. But you have see, stay but you have sated our curiosity for now, we will answer your questions. Who are you exactly? The avatars call you the Angel of Azavea. We are warrior and spirit bound by ancient tech. We saved our people from the betrayal of the dragons and we defend them still. We are the Angel. There's more than one of them, oh boy. And oh! We know why you are here, servants of the avatars. You are here to retrieve what is so precious to them. What do you steal exactly? You see? Do you see? I'm sorry, what? You serve these masters, yet they do not give you the information you need. They hide an obscure knowledge. They send you to your doom, expecting faith and trust in return. What about you? Do you not serve doom against the avatars? We serve nothing but our own justice. If that aligns us against the avatars, so be it. Where were they when our villagers were destroyed by the dragons who swore to protect them? Where were they when our comrades fell in the mountains, far from home, to dragon breath and claws? No, they were not with us, but the whisper was. The Whisper understood our pain, our helplessness, and so we accepted it and we saved our people. And now, we are one. So because the avatars didn't help you, you are opposed to them, that seems so petty. The avatars are fools who cannot clean up their own messes. They will stop the threat of the dragons. So that's what you took from them, something that will help you defeat dragons? Yes, and we will save all of law from the inevitable betrayal. Including yours, yawn. Yeah, I made something again, there was a whole lot of talking, so I took a nap. Hello angry lady, I will let you touch this shirt. This shirt will never betray me. Did it not happen already before with Katif? That was not a betrayer, this shirt was forced to. We make our own choices, this shirt made the us and allow itself to be used against you. 
who is to say it won't you wouldn't make that decision again we suppose it will be a waste of all our time for us to ask that you forfeit the dragon to us willingly i would never okay we like you your entire decisive you regret nothing come we await you still deeper in the catacombs the dragon will know the path don't worry, we are not letting this one get away. No, we aren't. Oh man. Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> wow. Man, oh man. No one is taking a dragon away. Wow, man. The tension in the air is just... Oh, and we finally get to see... Her face. Okay, she looks... Uh, honestly, I don't know if it's a she or he. Okay, I'm assuming it's a she. Okay. Or maybe it's genderless. I don't know. But yeah, she looks very uh, warrior-ish type, almost like a... Wow, man. I, I have to say, really kudos to them. I really like her design so far. I think it's really cool you get that air of... Um, that uh, the air of terror and, uh, you know, power that, that she gives off. Wow, it's it's really well designed. That's, that's all I have to say. I am really very impressed. Uh, let's see if there's any new waves that we can do. So unfortunately, there's no catapult this war. Or, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, there's no catapult this war. There's no supply run this war. But still, we are blazing through the war like nothing. So uh, really, really uh, kudos to those war monuments. Okay, I maybe will try and contribute a little more. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, this is obviously not the optimal warring setup, just saying. If you want to see what's the optimal one, or if you want to know how to war more efficiently, then you should check out my war video. The link will be up here right now. Okay, so... Uh, wow. I think we will hit 100% by the end of this week. Probably before um, Friday's release, okay, which will be a Saturday morning for me. So I think the staff will probably wait until saturday to release the um we'll probably run until friday night okay for their timing to release the next part of this so wow this is really exciting and i wonder what kind of powers will she have apart from dragon slaying capabilities will she be able to take us on just as well um both us and uenta that is but she did avoid uenta's attack pretty easily so we'll see we'll see and yeah this is all unfolding very well what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below and of course the avatars what exactly are they hiding from us they keep telling us to stop this malarious but they never really told us why they are evil other than saying they are evil because we told you so so yeah i'm really excited to see how this story unfolds and uh you know i wonder if the staff actually has a plan for how all of this is going to work out yet yeah, what the avatars are actually really hiding from us what's the true backstory behind the malarious or are they still in the process of um putting it together and then just making it up as the story progresses who knows so leave your comments speculations and theories down in the comments below and i hope to see you guys in the next video till the next time i'm your host korriban gaming peace out